All right. Welcome to the stream. I moved stuff around and I was used to certain things being on one side of the desk and now they're on the other. But I haven't had a USB disconnection sound in, in a day, so hey. Maybe, maybe that's past. <laughs> if you're watching later, thanks for clicking. Ah, yes, I had to cave and get a new USB hub. As it got worse and, uh, it just started making more disconnection sounds. So, I, uh, I got one recommended. Someone who has three of them and has had them for years, so hopefully I won't have to worry. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not to knock on wood, but there shouldn't be any disconnection sounds tonight. At least I don't think so, anyway. Uh, I forgot that there was a chest in here that, uh, was at the entrance, so I'm, I'm gonna just quickly go in here. So then I, I can rule this temple out forever. Okay. I know where I need to go, I just need to set it up. Okay, so, hang on. According to the map... Oh, it's just this one here. Yeah, then that's gonna be nothing. But... Just so I'm not going crazy later. And just... Okay. Confirmed, every chest acquired. Alright, I can leave. Peace of mind. Just keep swimming. What's that going to achieve? <laughs> Also, hair confirming. No, no, I was just getting a chest to make sure that the dungeon is just completely clean and I don't have to think about it. Because I don't want to repeat the heart piece thing again. I'm trying my best to make sure that this doesn't end in. A three hour hunt for one heart piece. It's not gonna happen this time. I'm not letting it happen. There used to be a Dory emote. I wouldn't be surprised if Twitch got rid of it. I'll just have a look around like Hylia and see if there's anything really of interest. A regular keyboard thing. I mean, it's probably still there. Emoji. Yeah. They're just they're just emojis, yeah. But they're uh like ASCII. I guess emojis. Do you ever use the uh, the sunglasses one? It's a few I've used. 
I think one of the most useful ways of it is the flag one. Because, I mean, not to be too much on the nerd developer side, but if you want to show a picture of a flag, it's like the easiest way to do it. Don't have to get an actual graphic, it's just built into most operating systems. I swear this music sounds like I'm about to watch a movie from DreamWorks Pictures. Like Smash Mouth will start playing their music. Might be something that involves the multi shot, though. <laughs> yeah, most likely. I think I know what I need to do. <laughs> so this USB hub I got is this thing, it, it looks like a fucking router. That's how big this thing is. But it, it seems sturdy. It doesn't seem like the other ones that I used to get, which was effectively a cable and then a, a box on the end of it. So, you know, I, it was recommended. And I'm hoping it, it lasts, because I swear if I have to buy another one next year. At that point, I may as well just get a new computer. Oh, this has already been done. Like, that's, that's honestly the next logical step, is like, nah, it's time to get a new computer. One that has more USB ports, and it's probably time for an upgrade. So next year it'll either be this hub has survived, or I have to get a new computer. <laughs> as extreme as that might sound, I just, I don't want to do it again. You bought a regular USB hub, a cheap one from Anchor, and the housing just randomly fell apart one day and you were left with a circuit board attached to a wire. Yeah, I had something similar happen. No, this one... It's definitely... It, <sighs> way more expensive than those. And you can see it. And it has to be powered. So, like, it's hooked to uh, an, an outlet or a socket, I should say. We'll do that. <laughs> what about getting a Thunderbolt hub until you saw the prices? They are super expensive, yes. Um, 
really only recommend that if you're gonna have a lot of external drives. Otherwise, I mean, the data transfers, it's not, it's not really that worth it. I mean, I think for my purposes, like, even though they, I am using this for drives, it's still fine. But yeah, this one added, um, seven and then two powered ones. So it's nine in total. So I shifted stuff around. So now I kind of have cables got a little bit neater. They're not crossing across the desk, so to speak. So we'll see. But the downside is now, like, if that dies, then there's quite a bunch of stuff that goes down with it. <laughs> Use a laptop if you want it to be just plug one cable and everything's connected, particularly this place. Yeah, that makes sense. I love the doggo acrobatics. With the back flip or the front flip. <laughs> Brokast will have to slave away and plug five things in every time. I mean, you can get to the point where you can get it to two, where I guess a monitor will be some just a separate plug. But you get it to the point where you're just plugging in your hard drives to one thing. It's just the screen. That's pretty much what you're having the uh, the Thunderbolt for, is just the bandwidth required for a screen. But you can get it down to one port for other stuff. Oh, jeez. That was close. <laughs> my new stream upgrade, yeah! USB hub that doesn't disconnect my drives, yeah! So then you're not hearing the sound, like... It would be at least twice the stream it was happening. Um, I'm almost out of bombs. I'm gonna have to come back into this cave because I don't have bombs. May as well refill. Since that thing's gonna... The PS5 would constantly disconnect to your USB drive, so you'd be playing a game, not even on the drive. Don't get interrupted by trying to repair the drive. Ugh. I've been wanting to get the uh, the SSD kit for it, but I've, I've kind of like bumped it down in terms of priority. gonna have to come back. I don't have bombs and I need bombs. This thing branches off so much. Clack, link. 
<laughs> Climb up. Wait, did I just turn around and go back? I did not have to do this twice. Yeah, I did. I should look at the minimap on the bottom screen. You ended up getting an M2 drive and putting it there since you could only use the USB drive for PS4 games. I guess that makes sense. I can understand why they probably wouldn't want a PS5 game loaded off that. I'll wait a bit. Like, I, I, I'm not... Because the thing is, I purchase physical copies. That's the other thing. It's not as big of a deal. And just very quickly, for those that don't know, it's cheaper to get physical copies in Australia than digital copies, like, 90% of the time. So that's where that comes from. <laughs> now then. Uh, yeah, that's why the, the drive isn't that big a deal yet. I'm sure eventually I'll, I'll have to, but... I've been able to put it off more than others. I just don't think I'll ever change that. I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Master Lunk, is it? You do know Telma, don't you? I am... Aru? Oru? I am part of the group that Telma kindly allows to meet at her bar. I've heard all about your deeds from her. Now, you being a courageous you, you have likely heard of the strange events in the desert and come to investigate, no? Or am I mistaken? You do know, don't you, Master Lunk? The Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in the prison. Now that that prison is condemned, and even the road is leading, road leading to the desert is impossible. This desert's at world's end. It still holds the cursed mirror and the malice of the doomed inmates. These old bones know that the evil currently plaguing Hyrule is related to this wicked place, so I've come to learn the truth. Master Lunk, I must ask, what will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicion with your own eyes. Yes. Ah, is that so? Then let good old Aru help you. You see Lake Hylia below us? A man named Fjör runs an amusement ride of sorts there. Give him this. The memo. Yep, there it is. See, long ago I saved this man Fjör's life, and now he cannot refuse me if I ask a favor. If you leave the rest up to Fjör, all shall go well. Uh oh, that's fine. Hardly buy games, just got a ton of games from the PS Plus collections. But it's still digital, like, I guess that's the point. The PlayStation Plus stuff is pretty legit. Also, hey, Sandy. The Hylian shield looks amazing. Everything about Link in this game is, I think, the best, just from a design perspective. Everything just looks really good. Super detailed and great. I mean, even back then, like, now it looks even better. Okay, so I have my way forward. I'm gonna... You're going... Yeah. <laughs> Guess of Shima alone, it's worth like seven months of PlayStation Plus God tier game. Yeah, you can get a lot of stuff on that. That's why I love my PS5, it's just become something that I'm getting to play a bunch of games on. And even if I have to buy stuff, it's still cheap.
forgot to turn back. There we go. We're okay. You bought it for Spider-Man. It was worth it. <laughs> I mean, that whole service is pretty... Honestly, if you get one game a year, it justifies pretty much the cost of the, the service. I got the, um, the premium, like, the tier above it, because Stray was on it last year, and so I could buy Stray, or I could pay, like, what was it, like, $7 less and get PlayStation Premium for a year, so that's what I did. Because, you know, Stray was fun, but I, I don't see it as a game that I would want a copy of physically that'll go back and have nostalgia for one day. Um, I wanted to swap. So it was worth it for that. I'm not swimming anymore, so... <laughs> you played five minutes of stray before bawling your eyes out and uninstalling it. You love cats far too much for that game. Oh no. <laughs> well, just don't hurt the cat. That's all you need to do. Don't hurt the cat. I... I can't remember if I did. But I mean, yeah. Bomblings. I think I need to sell- oh no, but my bomb bag is empty. They walk around- I think I just go back to regular ones for now. I don't think I need water bombs. The cat's crying out while the cat limped away was your stopping point. You're watching the ending of the game for closure on YouTube, and he doesn't even get reunited. <laughs> yeah, people have a problem with the ending. I mean, I said this after I finished playing. I was like, it was fun, but honestly... If you were to re replace the cat with just any anything else, like uh, an alien or a humanoid NPC, NPC type scenario, like, would the game has, have been as good in the sense of a storytelling point of view? And I stand by that, you know, the, the story was average. And what made the game was the fact that you were playing as a cat and that was pretty much it. Okay, we are going back to Hylia. <laughs> back to the land of DreamWorks pictures. Probably finish the cave now. Oh, that's just a joke. I needed, I needed more bombs and it hit it behind a, a wall that I have to bomb. Yeah. 
playing Oracle of Ages and you appreciate how really they made the tree girl. <laughs> I mean, it's another case where like Link is uh. Doesn't the tree say that, you know, you're married or something like that? Like you're effectively dating the tree. Yeah. It's the second time that's happened to him. Or is it third? I had to sneeze. <laughs> I am muted now. I'm not reading. <laughs> I was actually pretty quiet though, but yeah, I was muted. Um, yeah, the, tr the tree does flip it. And in Oracle of Seasons, there's also this inhabitants of the other world. I, I don't know what they're called. They're, they're in robes. And you do go out on a date. I don't remember if the bird girl wanted marriage. I, I don't remember that. I don't think that happened. Yeah, the Zora girl in Ocarina of Time definitely did. There was Mayfair and Breath of the Wild. There was always a hint that there was something going on there. You know? Fish waifu. Your fish brother in law. Didn't Mifa make armor for like... Wasn't the whole plot point of the armor that you get in Breath of the Wild, the, the Zora armor? Because Mifa made it for her partner, or who would be her partner, and it fit Link perfectly, so it was like, oh... You know. 
she had intended to date Link or something like that. I'm pretty sure that's the plot point of it. And that's how the Zoras kind of um, accept you. Because they realize, oh shit, just, like Mifa actually really loved Link. Particularly that stubborn one. <laughs> You're starting to think Link fucks fish. I think it's just a case of just... There's videos on this topic, it's just like... In every game, there are just a bunch of beings and things that want Link. For some reason. Like in Breath of the Wild, there's also the fairies, like... Have you seen the animation that plays when you upgrade your armor for the third time? Yeah. I don't know why I'm... I guess because I'm hoping for a heart piece, but I am wasting chests here. I hated the Ocarina of Time fairies. Oh, you mean that, like, sound they would make? Like, as if they were cackling like a witch. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was a bit unsettling. How long is this cave? I always interpreted the sound as sexual, really? <laughs> I just I just thought that oh they sound like witches. I mean I don't know, I haven't heard many people make a sound like that in an attempt to be sexy. I don't know why, I just got like a, a mental picture of very, very horrible, like, you know how there's always a porn adaptation for everything, you know? There's an adaptation for Ocarina of Time, and it's just, you know, Link walks into a hot spring, and then there's just this, this fairy there, and then she makes that noise, and then they just start having sex. Just because of that sound? No. Come on. Linkle? Oh, right, yeah, no, I'm sure that's a thing already. Oh, jeez. It also appears there's multiple exits here. I've already passed one. Like, I was thinking just get to the end of the tunnel and then backtrack, but... Anyway. Okay, flip. What was that Rule 34 Peach thing? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm sure there's multiple. Bowser? Oh, that was because, um... It stemmed from one of the new Mario games where... Um... Toadette could put on a princess cat crown. And would become, like, um... Like, sort of... Peach. Or the other, I think that was, that was it. It was like, Toadette would put on Princess Peach's crown and would become like a Toadette Princess Peach sort of thing. So then it was like, well, what happens if Bowser wears the crown? Then, of course, Bowser. And it became a thing. If I'm remembering it correctly. And, you know, it went straight to R34. And people cosplaying as her. Uh... It spiraled very, very quickly.
overnight fandom. Oh. Wait. Does that mean... Just checking. Just gonna check. Does that mean the other one, that's all it does as well? I guess we'll see. legacy that would have been for someone, you know? But they, uh... They came up with that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just see where this goes. It probably just goes outside and nowhere else. <laughs> the power. The internet do be horny. Very thirsty. Alright, I think we're good. I mean, there's probably a few other things I can do around Lake Hylia. But I'll wait until I have double hook shots. Oh yeah, right, hang on. I wanna see what this little bird wants. <laughs> Am I dropping frames? Please say that isn't so. Ah, uh, no. Zero frames dropped on my end. Hello, hello, hello. I am Plum. I'm really excited about the latest attraction down here at the lake. Want to hear about it? This attraction is all about popping balloons as you move toward the goal. It's stupendous. Balloons are worth different amount of points. Watermelon 1, orange 3, strawberry 10. Break the same type of balloon twice. You get... Okay, but only up to 10 times. 10,000 points. I do remember this. So how do you do it? Twilight Princess minigames are hard. I didn't have any problems with the, the platform one. That one was pretty straightforward. This music makes it sound like it's no biggie. Oh, 
the steering is a little... strategy. It's still worth more to just stick to reds. Even if I miss some. Oh no! How did that happen? I guess the wings the wing must have hit. That was so lame, so I wanna go again? Yes. <laughs> Don't you dare judge me. Stress. I've already got I've already got the prerequisite. Oh shit. Oh This is how you do. Yes. Crushed it. What? No way! 56,334 points? You got more than 10,000 points? Wow, take this. But don't think I'm giving you this just because I like you or anything. Thank you. So you're completely hooked now, aren't you? You need to go again and try to beat the high score. High score? No. Ah, I see. <laughs> Sometimes NPC dialogue just makes you feel like a jerk. Oh. Oh. I see. Out of sight. Yeah. You don't think enough NPCs guilt trip the player in games? No. <laughs> we have enough guilt. Down. 
down, up, down, up, down, okay. Well done. Okay, there, there it is. Jeez. <laughs> I, I, I've done these, I just haven't gone to look for the wolves. We should probably make an effort and go there, because some of them are pretty useful combat techniques. Teachings of old past to you. Take sword in hand and find me. <laughs> so, I mean, let's have a look. There are two. There are two near Hyrule Castle. I should probably go do those. Wait, there's one on the river? Anyway. Time to fish. I got the fish now. Get how this works. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> what was that face? Hi. Hi there. Hey, have you ever been? You've never been here before, have you? Well, I'm the owner of this fishing hole. My name is Hannah. Nice to meet you. 20 rupees to try and lure some fish. There's no limit. Canoe rentals included. Okay. okay. Well, seeing how this is your first time and all, I'll throw it in the guide service for free. Let's get fishing. What was that face? Okay. Oh. There's just straight up a heart piece there. Which I guess I can get on my own. so close, just failed to hook it. Immediately hold down B and then tilt. Okay. It's a trial run. Oh, 
Wow, your first fish caught using a lure. That's a fish to remember. Congrats, you caught yourself a definitive lake fish, a good old Hyrule bass. Your fish looks like 16 inches. What do you want to do? Um, I need a... What's the end result of this fishing thing? Hang on. That's what I want to know. Uh, Twilight Princess Fishing. I get the feeling I won't be able to do it. Okay, hang on. I'm just seeing what the rewards are, though. There's a WikiHow article on how to fish in Zelda. There's a WikiHow article for everything. There are items to get. I haven't found a definitive guide yet that tells me what I need to do. Whether it's based on size or species or something. Okay, but first... There it is. Apparently you just throw it. Oh, I have to I have to be facing it. What is going- I'm- I'm not changing directions, chat. I am holding one direction. There we go. Okay. Jeez. Alright, and then... Oh, you suck. It says this can be retrieved just by casting the fishing rod out. Ah! <laughs> I was just oh. A bull. Do I have to? I have to go a little bit forward. Okay, let's try again. No, come on. There we go. Got it. Woo! 
Ooh, who's heart did you catch, you big sweetheart? Don't be shy, this one's yours to keep. <laughs> okay, but then the other stuff, this is what I want to see. So, catching the Hylian Loach, that's the thing that I want to catch. Right, so I need the sinking lure, so hang on, sinking lure. In the specific section of the fishing hole. So hang on. But how do you get it? Where do you get it? Alright, anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's catch a fish and then the idea is to come back out alone, so... Apparently you're not allowed to use it. If she's on the boat with you. You lost it when it jumped. Oh. Do it again. I just wanted to catch any fish. This music's very relaxing. Take the bait! Take the bait! Okay. <laughs> that was just... Uh... Let's call it quits. I want to go out on my own. Go alone.
So the other reason I want to be out here, apparently... ...is that there's a bottle. Says it can be found in a small pool of water that is isolated from the lake by a bridge. That seems to fit the description. Uh huh. I can't get out of the boat, though. It seems to be hitting an invisible wall. Wait a minute, look, there's a sign there. Or is it... Maybe I need to walk there, but not fish there. Doesn't really talk about this lure, though. Where it is. What happened? I blew it when the fish jumps. I did, I did tilt it forward. <laughs> Lame. Is it still around in the area? I don't want that one. Surprise this one's not jumping. Okay. There's no way to land a fish. What is this mini game? 
The option just never came up. Hylian Pike, 24 inches. Keep it. Okay. I think I have to walk around. Let me walk around. into a wolf. Can. Just in case there's any spots I can dig up. Kind of surprised there's nothing. Some people just don't know their manners. There's so much trash out here, folks. Really, in when they're trying to fish, people who can't be nice to Mother Nature will never make good fishermen, you know. they're talking about though. Hmm, maybe I do have to fish. But whenever I shot something in that direction it just didn't let me. Try one more time. I want the bottle at the very least. Oh. I can get bait here too. It has to be that. That's the only thing that fits the description. The description is it's a bridge and then there's a small pool of water that is separated. I'm gonna waste so much money here. Okay. 
guess. Alright, anyway. Do I just use it here? I see, I see. I just read the description on that. Fish, where'd you go? Okay. We'll be back. Take the bite. get it <laughs> sometimes it just goes under the boat and I try to give it time but then it doesn't it doesn't work over here now. Let's try over there.
It's over there, I can see it. I need to go a bit more forward. Not you. Go away. Not you. Sir? That's alright. I don't think that's the correct size. What? No, come on. <sighs> Oops. Still too small. Come back to this later. I don't want this to. Ah, stop. <laughs> Why is. This is another one of these cases where you're pressing B, but then A is cancelled here. I'm just gonna go get the bottle. Come on. There we go. So apparently it's just keep going until you get bottle. <laughs> there we go. good. Link in this comically large fishing rod. I 
I think that's it. I can't remember what you get as a reward for the Hylian Loach thing, but... I mean, I got a heart piece and a bottle so far. Like, what else could they give me? Okay. Just temporarily. Oh, it's not night time anymore. Hmm, a customer? Sorry, but we're temporarily closed. Oh, what? locked. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna go down here. Oh, wait, I don't have water bombs anymore. Kind of put them aside. Because I was like, huh, hey, I'm not gonna need them. At least not for a while. Alright. Uh, I guess leave here for now. I'll come back. Apparently it's behind me. Oh yeah, I can see it. <laughs> it's just that. <sighs> I really should have done this sooner. We meet again. You have a little more of the look of a hero than you did before. Do you feel ready to earn your next skill? Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the ending blow. Come at me. What? <laughs> what was that, Link? Excellent. It appears you're certainly capable of performing my lost art. My second skill is the shield attack. No matter how well a tempered blade is, if a foe is clad in armor and bears a shield, the sword will do them no harm. When facing such a foe, you must use ZR to thrust your shield against the defenses of your enemy, causing the fiend to recoil. Lock on and then do a shield attack. After you shield attack, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Open a hole in the enemy's defenses and use your sword to strike without hesitation. The shield attack I've just taught you can also be used to repel projectile attacks. Wasn't ready. Perfect. When your enemies are sailing with projectiles, this is how you will defeat them with ease. You have learned the second of my hidden skills, the shield attack.
but I have five more secrets to teach you in time. The path to becoming the true hero is a long one, but once you have grasped all of the hidden skills, you will shall be worthy of walking it. If you must persist on the lonely path of the sword to obtain true courage and earn the strength to conquer the great evils of the world, do not forget your discipline with the blade before we meet again. The other one is nearby as well. I might just be able to go out there just by going out the southern exit of town, we'll see. Assuming I'm allowed to. So at this point I should do that. There we go. If you would, for the sake of peace and horror, would you make a donation? 50. May the spirit of love descend upon you. If you continue to pray for peace, someday you'll be surrounded by love. Ooh. 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 I didn't quite have 500. Doggo. I had a bug sound, or is it? I thought you were a giant grasshopper, but you're not. You're a person still wearing those clothes. So that tells me you like bugs too. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I, f I forgot the formalities. You have an audience with the princess of the bug kingdom. Agatha is my name. I have invited the 24 golden bugs of the world to the ball, but I don't know if they got lost on the way or what. But they haven't shown up yet. If you see them, would you please bring them to Agatha's castle? Tell them the princess awaits. Agatha's castle, I forget what that is. It's somewhere in town. Should be... Oh, there we go. Wolf should pretty much be here.
Okay, that's the other one. I'm thinking too old school. Pretty much gonna get donated, so doesn't particularly matter. Where is the wolf? <laughs> I think that's the same one I was hearing as before. Hey, oh yeah, take a look at these rocks, amazing, there was a landslide or something. What are you doing here anyway, brother? Are you trying to pass through here? If I drank some hot spring water, it might give me enough strength to break a rock fall like this. Hey, brother, if you find some hot spring water, you should come see me again. Yeah, okay. There it is. Um, is this double hook shot or single? Double. Meet again. It appears your efforts have begun to return some vigor to Hyrule, but it is far too early to relax. Do you feel ready to earn another hidden skill to steal yourself for the forthcoming battles against more powerful foes? Very well. But before we begin, I must test to ensure you have mastered the last skill I told you, the shield attack. Now come at me. Excellent. It appears you are most certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well, my third hidden skill is the back slice. Let it be honed into your mind. A mere shield attack is no match for an enemy protected, not just by a shield, but by a thick, full body coat of armor. Such enemies are often focused on guarding against frequent frontal attacks. They often leave their rear unprotected. That is, when you Z target and press A while tilting to jump and roll around your foe. This is the back slice, now try it. Hmm, you carry yourself well, but do not forget the proper timing for swinging your sword while you jump. The third hidden skill, the backslice has been passed on. There are four hidden skills to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the next time you come to learn the next skill. We meet, maybe we meet again. There is one more, but I don't remember where. 
I'll look on the maps. I, if I was to take a guess, it'd probably be in Farron. Let's see. Just look for the wolf icon. Yep, it's in the woods. Okay. That's where we're going next. I think it was this one. We'll have a look. It might even be right at this hot spring. Probably just immediately behind me. Yep. <laughs> Alright, this one's nice and easy. I think after this one we're caught up. Maybe. We meet again. This next is the greatest of the hidden skills I have taught you to this point, and it may test the limits of your endurance. Do you still wish to master it? Very well. But before we begin, I must test you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing our lost art. The helm splitter. Okay. It is impossible to circle around and perform a backslice against fully armored enemies that move swiftly in combat. Against such foes, you must first shield attack to make them flinch, but then quickly press A. This is the Helm Splitter. Show it to me. Do not miss your chance to land the helm splitter after you use your shield attack. Fourth hidden skill has been passed on. There are still three hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training. Okay. I think we're good. It looks like we're caught up. Okay. Finally. <laughs> After a bit of uh, messing around. There are some facts I want you to make. These guys will make powerful ally. Oh, I haven't gone to Talon's bar. Yeah, I need to go there first. Hang on. I was just there in Hyrule. I could have done it. I completely forgot. Oh, and the donation, dude. Ooh. Thank you. 
hope I got this right. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, I think I got it wrong. Wait, where's the bar from here? Oh, I was supposed to go down just a little bit more. There we go. Oh my, if it isn't Lunk. You made it. How you been, honey? Mercy, but you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey. hey everyone, introduce yourselves. This handsome young man is the infamous Lunk. Do you remember what I told you before, honey? These are those friends I mentioned. The ones who are trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. Actually, there's one more of us, but there's been a disturbing turn of events in the Western Desert, so he's gone to check it out. He's an older man named Aru. If you happen to meet him, definitely take the time to talk to him, okay, honey? Well, you've come all this way, honey. Why don't you relax a bit? Why don't you be sociable and talk to these folks? They're a jolly bunch. Uh huh. Um... Ashi? Ashe? I grew up in the mountains with my father, who was a knight in his own right. He taught me the arts of war as soon as I was his son. Of course, lessons in common courtesy were not part of his regimen, so forgive me if I come off a bit rude, yeah? Listen, before I blab both of your ears off, I want to tell you something. Snow Peak, the mountain to the north of Hyrule, it's unlike any mountain I've ever known. I don't know much yet, but things happen there that happen on no other mountain I know of. Evil controls it. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, you should just stay away with it, okay? Hi. That old codger Ara is at Lake Hylia studying the desert. Okay. Hey. Oh, hello there. You must be Lunk, correct? I'm Shad. Wonderful to meet you. Talma told me you've been all what you've been up to. <laughs> You're rather formidable. I'm rather not, I'm afraid. Well, I'm formidable at book reading, but I lack, shall we say, physical skills. That said, if the history and legends of Hyrule are your cup of tea, I'm your fellow. If you're curious, just ask away. Alright, I guess we're done. How's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that shaman will find a way to get her memory back. That Renato is a talented man, for sure. Anyway, honey, you've got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure you do what needs doing right now, okay? Listen, honey, if you're puzzled about what you ought to do, why don't you go see our friend Raru, or Aru? Right now he's off investigating the western desert. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, who are you? Oh, postman. What to order? What to order? I do believe I'll start with meat. Can't go wrong. I probably didn't have to come here. But I figured just in case, and I'm not going around in circles and missing some something simple. I think we're finally ready to move on. Huh. 
from old Oru, huh? Ah, well, I guess I ought to do what the old coot says. Oasis well, flight, right? So here you go, one of our secret options, not available to the general public. This time's all paid for, so what do you say? You wanna go? Yeah. Alrighty then, but remember, next time you gotta pay. Sweet sailing, buddy of mine. One for the Oasis. Fire in the hole! We've arrived. Wait, Lunk. Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. Do you remember what the spirit said about the few shadows? What do you think happened to the magic wielders who tried to rule the sacred realm? They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. It was another world entirely, the antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun shines bright. Its denizens became shadows that could not mingle with the light. Eventually most came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it none could return to the world of light. They were forever doomed to live in twilight, flitting in the half-light of dusk, mere shadows of Hyrule. This is the hot history of the Twily, or Twilly, as it has been passed down from our ancestors. Do you understand what I am? I'm a descendant of that tribe that was banished to the Twilight Realm. It was a peaceful place until Zant took control over the Twilight Realm and transformed all of the Twily into Shadow Beast. It's clear to me now that he somehow gained a great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there and could no longer get into the Twilight Realm without his power. But there's another tale told by my people. Though the goddesses forbade us to return to the world of light, they left one link between the light and the darkness. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. It's our only path to the Twilight Realm, and we must get there. You'll come with me, won't you? I just remember it was less tedious to travel as a wolf than this. <laughs> that is all I remember. Oh, it didn't work. Super effective. Uh. 
I think I discovered their weakness. I just have to hit them really hard. all gonna go to that donation thing. Hurry, hurry, hurry! to these things it's so much easier to be in wolf form to deal with them plus you know mini horse get to run briefly <laughs> just to get that yeah, come here did that thing try to eat this and just got eaten by the explosion Okay, see ya. <laughs> I did not know that that would happen. Yeah, okay, that would have blown up the first time, but... I didn't know that those things would try to eat the bombs. It's kind of funny. I should probably be turning this on every now and then, too.
Oh shit. <laughs> that uh that was bigger than what I thought it would be. And in the biggest of coincidences. These things are as annoying as the sharks in Wind Waker, they just don't give up. They'll just chase you forever and they just keep reappearing. I mean, oh, all right. Nope, that's fine. We need this. No cannon fee. There's anything else to do here. At least not yet. What is this thing? Well, it's the bridge. Oh, since it's night time, I can probably get that photo as of the river. It's a bit of a sidetrack, but get it while I remember. Oh, I just noticed something. The map on the bottom screen reveals how many poses there are per, uh, per area. So this one, I have four out of 19. Do it over. It's the other one then. Uh, 
Oh, but I don't have... Uh, huh. Yeah, I don't have that warp point. Why not? <laughs> what happened there? I should. Okay, interesting. This is incorrect, but it's closer. Okay, so I guess I should go this way. I've been neglecting this way. Got sidetracked. I just need to find the warp point. I must have just rode past it or something. Oh, it's daytime now again. Oh, they're over there on that side. I can see them. Be uh, why I never did it. <laughs> All right, I guess I have to go around. Ah. Makes sense. One thing I'm not doing with these destroyed rocks is making sure that I can't borrow. But I guess I'll worry about that later.
figured it'd be one of these spots. Ah. Uh, uh. Doing that just in case that maybe there's a chest for defeating all the enemies. But nope. Alright. Why? How did this not... I don't understand. Did I just run past this shit, or...? <laughs> Alright, portal's active. Not sure how it happened. this. No, this is too far away from Death Mountain. This has to be something else. I'm gonna be a little upset. This is just back to Death Mountain. <laughs> but no, I don't think it is. It just looks visually similar. Oh, 
man. I, I love the iron boots in this game. <laughs> oh, alright, Link's fine. Except I gotta redo this. Just ignore the violent death, you know. It's fine. I put him on like a second too late. Fine. <laughs> the stamps do nothing now. Good. Wait, where is he? Oh, okay. Oh, there's a wolf waiting for me over there. Okay, I can do this. I honestly have no idea how I didn't get that waypoint. It, it doesn't make any sense. Because they usually force you to get them. Uh, where is it? That one. I don't know. I, I feel like she should be using this power to defeat bosses for me. She can lift the whole damn bridge and throw it. Could probably do more set damage than my sword. I don't know. I wouldn't trust that. <laughs> like, they didn't really stitch it together, it's still... Anyway. That's... Oh, no, I can go back here. That's definitely how bridge repairs work. Oh. Have you repaired a lot of bridges? Have you now?
just slap a gigantic slab of stone. <laughs> sure. Well, I mean... I guess that probably explains why there's a song about London Bridge. If that's how engineering works in the UK, then... That's probably why there's a song. They would take the time to reinforce their bridge repairs, then there might not be a song about London Bridge. I, I really hate these things. I'm just gonna have to risk it. Watch them pop up now. No! I think this is the way you beat them anyway, you gotta do that. What is going on with the auto lock? There we go. I don't have to do that, but I just, I, I find it amusing. Ah. There's only so many bridges if they were well, wait, if they were repaired well bridge it. What? If there were repaired well bridge repairers would be out of a job. I, I must be tired, because I, I felt like I was having a stroke reading that sentence. Yeah, if the bridges were repaired, then bridge repairers would be out of a job. I get that, but... That's like, I don't know, that's major capitalism right there. It's like, well, we can't make things last, because then people would be out of a job. You have to buy the next the next model. Then we have to have people to be able to repair that stuff. See, chat. If I didn't have to purchase a USB hub every single year, then there'd be so many people out of work. So I should be more understanding that my USB hub breaks every year, and that I have to buy a new one. I should be more forgiving. Because really, the manufacturer of the USB hubs, they're doing the economy a favor. They're keeping people employed, and those people that are employed have expendable money, and can spend it on things, thereby making sure that the economy floats, you know, and doesn't enter a recession. So really, my broken USB hub is good for the economy. And the fact that I replaced it again for the fourth time... It's a good thing. I don't care what they're doing, I'm opening this chest even way first. The real trick is to get it so the product fails just after the warranty expires. Well, thankfully I live in Australia where that stuff, uh, it doesn't matter. We have laws against that stuff, so... With certain things, you, you will still be able to get a replacement or a repair, depending on what it is. So let me give you an example, like... 
they sell two laptops in a store. One is worth $500, and then you have an Apple laptop worth $2,000. Both of them come with one year warranty. Now, let's say the Apple laptop breaks just after a year. I can argue that a product that's been marketed as a premium thing, there's a reasonable expectation that it should last longer than the $500 laptop that comes with an equal warranty. So, under Australian law, you'll be able to get that expensive laptop repaired. Because there is a reasonable expectation that it should last longer than something cheap. Especially the way it is marketed. So, it comes in handy when you're dealing with, like, TV warranties or computer warranties, because it's, it's a pretty easy thing to argue. Our Apple exempt from laws, not here. They've gotten into trouble. A lot of companies get into trouble in Australia over warranty. Apple's one of them. Valve got fined a ridiculous amount because they were refusing refunds on Steam. I'm almost certain that the reason getting a refund on Steam is so much easier this day is because of that court battle they had to fight in Australia. That they lost. But for something like a USB hub that's cheap and, well, there's no real expectation that those things should last, well, I'm out of luck. But for other stuff, uh, yeah, it comes in quite handy. I need to take this thing around because there's quite a few fences. I love how their eyes glow in the dark. I used to imagine the the uh, the theme in Crash Bandicoot, the pig stages, just whenever riding this pig. That was such a good theme. But yeah, somewhere towards the back, I just need to be careful. Just that... Oh shit, there's a ravine. Ah! <laughs> I didn't see it until it was right in front of me. Where am I now? Oh, I'm back up here. Ah! Look at how far away I am now. It puts you at the previous, I guess, checkpoint, so that's either a cave that you came out of, or where you teleported from, which... Ugh. I gotta go all the way back. Wait, did it just undo everything? Did it really just undo everything I just did? Okay, except for the towers, which... okay. That's fine. Hang on, I see some... There's a ghost over there. Okay, I'll get up there later. I'm kind of afraid to play, like, Crash Team Racing or Mario Kart. Aside from getting my ass kicked if I play multiplayer, just... Particularly Crash Team Racing's, uh, story mode. 
Yeah. Let's go, Pumba. We have other barricades to destroy. Just need to not do what I did last time. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, it's under control this time. I think that's it. I don't remember seeing any other barricades. Ah, uh, okay. Sure, I caught that bug already. Careful. There's more fencing on the right there. <laughs> ah! I'll go get another pig, it's fine. This is your home now, Pumba. I made you a house, you're welcome. Again. At last, the skills I have to teach you have entered the realm of true secrecy. They are forgotten ways that do not leave our bloodline. Among the techniques I shall be teaching you are some that may endanger you. Do you feel ready to learn the skills? Okay. Very well. But before we begin, I must test to ensure you know the helm split off. Alright. Yes, I know. <laughs> See? Excellent. It appears you are capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My fifth hidden skill is... Mortal Draw. Mortal Draw. 
The Waithers of the Sword are known to many creatures, and some have strengthened their guards against shield attacks and backslices. Should you encounter such a foe, the mortal draw that I'm about to teach you is most effective. You must sheathe your sword and cast aside the most basic of sword skills with the ZL target. You must wait until your foe is upon you. Then, before the enemy can see through your ruse, you must quickly draw your blade with A. There is no defense for this. The mortal draw deals death. Unless you see... Oh. Right. Okay, okay. It's like a parry. Too early. That was a point of strike, but do not forget the technique leaves your life at risk. <laughs> okay. I thought it was something more complicated than that, but okay. The best sword technique is to spin and expose your back. <laughs> oh, yes! There are still two hidden skills for you to learn. Okay. I see one's on the mountaintop, so it'll be a while. I could pick up the skull. Go away. Is that all that's here? No, there's more here. This is the pathway up. There we go. <laughs> Means is like, well, come on. Sword techniques are all well and good, but we should get techniques as a wolf. I just find the wolf combat to be a bit quicker than sword combat. Particularly when you can do when you can do this. Oh, I see. Oh, 
Oh. Ass. Trying to do some overkill. Game did not allow it. That's like some real Looney Tune stuff right there. I'm shooting arrows that have a bomb on the end and then just the spark of fire just hits it and it blows up in my face. It's like a wily e. Coyote thing. Where is this? Where is here? You. Yeah, my plan with the bomb arrows is not working. I thought I'd blow up the tower. Eh. for big. Oh, right. Third encounter. I love that the music is so serious, but... I never found this, this fight threatening. I just remember this as well. This is one of the fights I remember. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get for all those times you knock me off that bridge. Oh no, just let the villain escape. Yep, no. I know. This is just classic in terms of, uh, like any sort of anime you'll watch. It's just, oh no, the villain is powering up. Oh no, the villain getting away. Uh, pig? It, I was gonna say, it's not letting me get on the pig anymore. I don't know if these stories are teaching you the lesson of, like, if there's someone truly evil, just don't let him get away. You know what I mean? Like, is that the lesson that they're trying to teach? Just don't show mercy. Because if you do... 
they just don't change. I mean, certainly with the cartoons I watched growing up, like Dragon Ball, for example, fucking Freezer. Goku gives him another chance, and then what does he do? Just tries to shoot him in the back. Wait, the pig smelled bacon and wanted to stay. I mean, bacon is delicious, but I don't think it would make a pig stay. Little kids learn you need to brutally murder your enemies and just write in the history books you were merciful. Damn. I mean, that's assuming that what you do is worthy of writing in a history book. This looks really good. Just the way the sand is flowing. Ah, why couldn't they bring this to the Switch, honestly? There's no real reason they can't. What have I done? <laughs> I rolled right into that. Maybe they're too busy making new games. You say that, but, you know, a remaster of Metroid Prime just released. And I like that remaster, but... Ever since the pandemic, the way to go has been... This is the age of remakes. Remakes, remasters. Collections. And even before then, they had ported most of the Wii U's library across. The reboots, yeah. I mean, there's definitely truth to the whole thing where just movie and game companies just don't want to take risks anymore on making something new in case it doesn't pay off. And they'd much rather just make something they know will have some semblance of success without really gambling. Particularly Hollywood, it's kind of to the point where the same five, six movies are being released every year. Just different characters, but you start watching the movie and you kind of know the plot of it already. I haven't seen a new film in years. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think what the last one that I saw was. I mean, I'm talking movie, movie. I did go see the Sonic movie with my niece, so. But that, that, that's not really me going to see a movie, it's just. I wanted to see a movie with my niece and see my brothers as well, so it's, it's different. I guess the Mar like the Mario movie is probably the one that I yes I am going to see it with with my brothers and my niece but I probably would have seen it anyway. 
If it was probably a Marvel film. I think it was probably the same for me. Oh, you know what it was? It was Spider-Man. Yeah, it was Spider-Man. The latest Spider-Man one. The No Way Home or whatever it is. I'm terrible with names, but you know which one I mean. The, the multiverse one. It's just, to go to the movies, it's, it's so expensive. It's like, what it costs for ticket and food, you can... Like, let's say you resort to sailing the seven seas. But you could take someone and go have a nice dinner at a restaurant. And then just go watch something on a streaming service. Or you can go see a movie, and eat, like, old popcorn. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, there are some movies that I think warrant the big screen, but... Most these days, I, I don't feel like they do. Cinema slash ticket prices a few years ago. Not here. Here it's kind of the opposite. It's like, oh, we're not making as much money as we used to. Better raise the prices so we keep making the same money we used to make. Ugh. I went through the store. I mean, I'd still go see a movie if I wanted to say catch up with a friend, but that would be going to see a movie to catch up with a friend or catching up with a friend. I wouldn't see it as wanting to go see a movie. It was like 12 to 13 pounds and then they slashed them down to a fiver or something. Not sure what they are now with inflation hitting. Yeah, interesting. Oh. Let me see. Maybe... I'll go to village. Just any movie. I find that wild that we pay so much to go see a movie and then the first like 15 minutes they blast us with ads. Like that's the part that I also don't like about going to the movies is you're paying such a premium price to go see the movie and then they're still like, no, we need to make money. So we're going to give you 15 minutes of ads. Like, I just, I just don't get it. Sorry, chat. <laughs> I know this. This is derailing the stream a little, but I'm kind of curious myself. Ah, uh ah. -huh. No, but this is gold class. I don't want gold class. I want normal. What's normal? That's what you want, standard. Well, standard's the tiny cinema, so you don't want that. You want this one. Okay, got it. This is like pretty much the standard these days, so let's see. Yeah, so it's like 23 bucks. It's $23 to see a movie right now for one adult. So that's just the ticket, and then getting snacks will probably be that same amount, if not more. So it's like 40 It's a minimum of $50 you're going to spend for one person to go see a movie. Or, you can go out to a really nice restaurant and eat something, and then go do something else afterwards.
Um, take your own snacks. No, that that's certainly something you can do. No, no, no. That is that is true. I went down here. Okay, hang on. Turn back into human. Don't get any snacks, don't eat. But I guess I'm talking about, like, comparing that to, say, like... What's the point in that? Compare that to... Just going out with someone where you're going to go eat. And you're going to go do something. You can do all that and eat somewhere fancy. Or you can go see a movie. But I guess that's, that's the point, is like... There's stuff you can do to save money, but really? Like, why shouldn't you be able to go see a movie, get some food there, at a pretty fair price? Like, why does popcorn- getting a popcorn and a soda ha have to be, like, basically $20? Like, why should it be the price of a steak? That's- that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. But yeah, a bunch of people popped in, so... Yeah. Uh, Klonoa user and, uh, Cookie, hello. Do them in one bunch. Um, there are movies that are worth it, but I guess I'm just saying, like, on average, most of the movies that come out... They seem to be the same five, six movies. Let's just swap the characters around and the setting a little bit, but generally speaking, you can predict what's going to happen. Okay, so hang on. Did it just give me the compass and this thing right away? No, it's a heart piece, okay. The heart pieces in this game are a little weird. Oh, I may have made a mistake. Damn it. <laughs> I'm not saying that all movies need to be unpredictable, by the way. It's more just a case of... Originality is the other thing. It's like you could have a movie that's predictable because it follows certain tropes, but like. Just pay close attention to the movies that release outside of, say, Marvel movies. Like, say, the romantic comedy, for example. Or like an action movie. Like, there's a reason there's been so many um, movies in the Fast franchise. Because it's, it's a pretty safe bet, that, that franchise. Uh, why not make something new? You could probably do something that, that's similar. Not quite the same, something different, but they don't do that. Like, nah, make another one. We know it sells. It's safe. Do it. So what am I- there's definitely a way across here. I can't- oh. Unless- hang on. How did I know that was about to happen? Stop watching Fast and Furious movies after the first one. Yeah. I think I saw one other one just because a friend wanted to and hadn't seen that friend in a while, so that's what we went and did. But generally speaking, it's it's not really a series that I pay attention to. <laughs> I 
can't push and I can't pull. Man, I don't remember enough of this dungeon. Because this door can't be accessed until I get all four, so... Okay, what haven't I done in this room? There's, it's something minor, and I'm gonna hate the answer to it. What didn't I do? I don't have a key, that's the thing. I can't believe they didn't don't make slash don't make a Zelda games multiplayer cop online. I mean the series hasn't really traditionally been that, and there is there is a co-op. There is a co-op game. There are, have been a couple that do have co-op elements, like particularly in the Four Swords genre, but online, I mean, come on, Nintendo doesn't do online games. <laughs> and when they do, there's like, it's a 50-50 chance it'll be okay. I mean, you don't need multiplayer to connect with people. What am I not seeing here? I, I can see a hookshot point over there. I've missed something really obvious. What is it? first single player games. Yeah, me too to some extent. There are certain games that I, I definitely like playing in a multiplayer sense. Like Diablo is one of those. Um, like Risk of Rain. I had fun with Risk of Rain playing that multiplayer. But, I mean, generally speaking, I play single player. Unless there's someone that I really want to play a game with, that's a different thing. Like, I'll... I'll make an exception and effort to play with that person. <clears throat> I mean, an MMO can be a single player game. You can be completely antisocial and not do any other clan stuff. But that being said, by design, those games, um, they do favor those that kind of go into the whole clan thing. <laughs> It went through this wall, but I can't go through this wall. Right, I'm gonna run around as a wolf. Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> Missed the obvious. There it is. Okay. I knew it. The longer it took, it was going to be something so minor. Yes! the other way. <laughs> oh. These dudes are scary. Nice. 
conversation yesterday convince you to start a new run of Breath of the Wild? But to give it another chance? I mean, it's fine, try it, but don't- if you don't like it still, it's, it's fine. You're free to not like Breath of the Wild. I guess my point yesterday was just... When people say they don't understand how a game is popular, it's just be like... That sentence is true about something that isn't great. You're the one who liked it, okay. I wasn't sure. A lot of people were saying that they don't like it. But if you're playing it again because you like it, then yeah. I'm going to be doing that shortly myself. I say shortly, but it's still probably a few weeks away. What? Oh, there we go. Let's see, that seals it. So hang on, this is the starting position. Okay, I think I see it. Then you just keep going. Okay, and that's just the key. Alright, just making sure that there wasn't, like, a third position. Now I have the key, now I can go back up where I came from. Talk it out. I mean, you're fine not to enjoy Breath of the Wild, but I guess as long as you understand that people do enjoy the game and there's a reason why, then that's enough. Like, the game isn't boring, you just find it boring, which is fair. It also depends what they do in those two hours. <laughs> That's the other thing. Like, two hours... It depends on the person, but... Two hours in Breath of the Wild, if you're not doing much, it, I can understand it. But two hours, if you say you're going from shrine to shrine... And being pretty systematic about it and making progress, that's different to say someone just exploring and not really doing anything. That's the thing, like, that game can have a pretty skewed representation of what it's about, depending on what, you, what you're witnessing. They were doing this, the story from the beginning. Right, but that doesn't really define how much progress they're making. Like, how many shrines did they do? Did they do a divine beast or not? Did they upgrade any gear? Did they visit Hyrule Castle at all? Three shrines in two hours? Yeah, no, that's why you found it boring, my dude. <laughs> I could do, like... A lot, I could do a lot more in, in two hours. But that's fine, like, that's someone experiencing that game or playing it at their own pace, but like. Like, imagine I spent three hours on this stream just in barren woods, right? Like, you, of course you would find it boring. You'd be like, well, there isn't much to do. You barely get to see the rune system with doing three shrines. Like, you barely get to see any of that stuff. 
or how some of the later areas look like. Imagine three hours doing gacha. Yeah, but that, okay, to be fair, that was at the end of the playthrough, not at the start. <laughs> I got, I, I can get buy-in from people to watch me play um, Minish Cap because the start of it's not boring. It's just, unfortunately, that's just how it ended. I had to do the stupid gacha game for three hours. It's completely different when you start with something, like, slow, and you're doing a couple of hours of that, then the perception is, yeah, it's boring. Just, uh, wait till I get up to Breath of the Wild, then make up, make up your mind, because the way I play it's a bit different. I mean, maybe not that different, but certainly not only doing a couple of shrines in two hours. Like, I'm going to be pretty systematic about it. I'm going to go around the whole thing and just do as many shrines as quickly as possible. I'm not sure about the Koroks. Still very undecided about the Koroks. Because I've done that once, but... There's no stream footage of me doing that, so... Maybe. Also, hey, Laura. Uh, wait. You gotta stretch out the time for the ad revenue. You know, you know what I, you know what I thought about last night after we're talking about the, the ad stuff very briefly at the end of the night? So I did look up, like, how much ad money I made, right, in the last 30 days. It was $2, for those that don't know. And the more I thought about it, the more I was... Do you know how annoying it is? I mean, just consider this, right? Their ads will often cause someone to not watch you. It makes it difficult for new people to dis to, to find you. And so, at the end of the month, they're like, Oh, we're sorry that a lot of viewers didn't enjoy your ads, but hey, have $2. Can I, can I pay, so like, let's say the split is, you know, they take, even if they take 90% of the ad revenue, right? 90%. That would mean that, can I pay them $10 to stop showing people ads? Like, it's kind of insulting for them to put something that's so detrimental to your stream and then be like, well, here's $2, sorry. Like, it just, it just makes it so much more egregious. And no, it was two Australian dollars. It's after conversion, so it's, like, even less than you think. I would just rather not have the ads. No, there's more to that corridor. <coughs> A few things you like. The fake and tame for horses. The fat dancing Korok beetle. I'm not going to say you like the great fairies. Funny but uncomfortable. No, that's a good way to describe them. Uh, but yeah, I mean... I don't know. I'm not trying to convince people that their opinion of the game is wrong, like... At the end of the day, if it doesn't scratch that part of your brain, then it doesn't. But when you start seeing that, like, there's more than one way to do... Particularly when that game came out, like, you would talk to someone about a shrine, and you'd talk about how the how you solved it, and then... That person would probably have a completely different way they solved it. And I think just... That design is kind of underrated. And the fact that you can go anywhere with three hearts. Like, I know this. Because I played with three hearts and basic stamina for, like, 90% of my run. Or 90% of my playthrough, I should say. 
and I was able to go anywhere. There was no area I couldn't get to with just basic health and stamina. something here. Okay, let's see what else there is. It looks like this rotates as well. I mean, I'm willing to believe that Tears of the Kingdom is going to go down the path of just keeping the world the Breath of the Wild, but then expanding upon it, and then it'll round it out a bit better. There we go. It just didn't look like you could do that with this one. I need a key. No, wolf. You know what's really weird as well? There's, um, there's an upcoming convention. It's not the big one, but it's it's one of the larger ones this year, and they're not going to show Tears of the Kingdom there. I think they're kind of keeping it very close. They're not trying to reveal too much about it before release. There hasn't even been a direct that goes in depth about the game yet, and it's not that far away. I don't find it concerning, I, I find it interesting. Because usually they do have a direct or they show it at some event and showcase it properly. And that hasn't happened yet. And there's not that long left. Spooky skeletons. Don't scare doggo. Watch this. Right, I wanna do it. Stop stop wailing, stop wailing. Yeah! <laughs> nice. Get rid of all of them. Practically. Just following it back. Okay. Hey, here we go. Finally, the second one. flip. I think we got to keep the smell, so it's fine. Or do each of them have a different smell? No, I think we're okay. This is probably just in case you've gotten this far without. Hmm? 
What? Oh, right, ghost rats. <laughs> I forgot about the ghost rats. Oh man, this would be frightening. This is conceptually freaky. I just want a hug. Every enemy just wants a hug. Everyone just wants to be loved at the end of the day. This world is harsh. Who am I to deny a terrifying mummy night creature its hug? I don't know. But the thing is, there's nothing wrong with not wanting to be touched. Like, there are people that just don't like being hugged. So, like... Who's the villain? The one that doesn't want the hug, or the one that doesn't respect people's boundaries enough to be like, no, a hug shouldn't be universal. A hug shouldn't be expected. Kind of like how in some cultures there's the whole kissing on the cheek thing when you say hello. I, I don't like that. Some of my relatives do that. And when COVID happened, haha, guess who got COVID? Or were the first to get COVID, I should say. Uh, I sound so spiteful, like, haha, guess who got COVID? But, you know, I found it interesting that countries where, you know, that was a way of saying hello, the spread of COVID happened a lot quicker. <laughs> so, wait, is there anything? No, but see, there's an upper level as well. chat i might not be remembering this correctly but hold on <sighs> these things are such assholes <laughs> i hate them i hate them so much they're relentless they just don't stop Now, I don't- I'm not sure I remember this correctly. Okay. Alright, I do. 
Wait, you remember there was once a girl that had the username of Maiden that was being in character? Should have made a Ghost Rat emote. I think a Ghost Rat emote's a good emote, just in general. Or that face that Link made earlier at the fishing hole, like... If I was a Twitch partner, I would make that an, emo an emote right away. It was like, kind of like a pog champ, but not really. This is this weird face that Link made the moment he entered the, uh, the fishing spot. Oh, I know my, I know my Zelda rules. Don't you worry. <laughs> Fishing. Uh... I'm gonna make that the thumbnail to this video later. When I get around to uploading all of them and making thumbnails. That's gonna be the thumbnail for this one, it's just that face. Someone's trying to stop me. Oh, apparently I have to uh, use Din's fire. I don't have Din's fire. you are. Had to be better. Did I just color it because of pity? So impatient.
Oh, okay, so that's just an exit. But there's another... There's another door over there, but it might just be an exit. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> what, what was I trying to achieve there? Oh, piss off. I need a hook shot. I thought I could maybe make it and run, but nope. Too strong. To one more. Yeah, but see, this one goes back up, so hang on. get it. I need to turn the lower one. Because it affects the upper one. Got there in the end. still being attacked. nowhere to jump on. Are those rats eating skulls? I didn't notice that before, but that's what the, that's exactly what they're doing. Look. Look. 
Oh, man. <laughs> That's a detail I did not know. There's still more to this area, but... I think we've reached, like, the midway point. This is a fairly long dungeon. I think I should be doing it the other way. I take it all the way to the top and then go down. Sword in Breath of the Wild? Maybe. There was a lot of DLC items for that game. I don't remember all the details. from I believe. Yeah. Does not go any higher. Alright, down to the bottom. <laughs> I believe that's the reason Link's hair was um pink in the link to the past was because they want they needed it to share a palette with the bunny that he would become. And then there was something about like colour contrast as well. It was like a, a technical limitation. Cause could have been brown. There are mods that do that, and I think there are mods that actually correct it. It's kind of crazy what fans do to fix old games. Like, all the work that's been done around Mario 64, for example, just... I think it's even just one crazy dude. Hang on. Taking the source for Mario 64 and just optimizing it and getting rid of stuff that's just trash so it runs better. Oh. 
that dude's making like a, a ROM hack using the engine that he's made for Mario 64. So I'm hoping to play that one day. If it does get finished, because it does look pretty cool. In my opinion, why does Mira make Link a bunny? I don't know. <laughs> Would you believe that it's nothing I haven't really thought about? They give an explanation to it. It's like the the thing you become is meant to be sort of representative of you. So like the thing that's getting kicked around is obviously being bullied and then the bully is just this thing. So there's something about like rabbit and pure heart. Yeah. I don't know if it's got to do with mythology or some sort of belief, Eastern belief about the rabbit in general, but I would bet it'd be something like that. Merch reasons. <laughs> what merchandise have they sold of Link being a bunny? I don't think they wanted to mess with stuff. I think some of that stuff does have uh, references to, like, Eastern mythology. Or culture, I guess. There's probably someone that is done... has done analysis or, like, lore lookups for that stuff. Oh, look who we ran into. I think this thing looks so freaky. I don't know, there's something about its design that just, it's off-putting. I think it's the front of it, chat. There's just something about... ...how it looks at the front. It, it just... Uh, particularly the bottom, they just look like nipples. I know they're not supposed to be, but it, it just looks like that to me. And I'm sorry if I ruined that someone, for someone, that didn't see that and now they can't unsee it. I, I truly am, but I had to express that, you know. <laughs> Don't know if they haven't done the merch thing. I mean... There's definitely unofficial merch, I'll put it that way, but that's not Nintendo thinking about that. You weren't looking at the screen, so you don't know what it means. Okay, well, allow me to enlighten you. See this thing here? I mean, it, there's no 3D model for it, but like, the way the bottom part of it looks, I don't know, and where it's positioned. I have to use bomb. Should have to get both of them. You don't see it. I, it's more notable on the 3D model than the 2D one. Or maybe I'm just a de degenerate, I don't know. I'm just a, a product of uh, the internet.
Oh boy. Yeah, what isn't isn't this creepy? This is like nightmare. I have to get rid of them. Oh, ah! gotta go around again. This, that's what I was trying to avoid: jumping and not making it. Because for some reason, these tiny bugs just weigh you down. Almost Beyblade time. <laughs> I forgot how this thing looked like. Right, and then you kind of have to alternate between the two. I hit it. I did hit it. And your reward is the Beyblade. <laughs> I had a hard time controlling this. That's all I remember. I needed to do that, but I was kind of practicing transfers. This goes back. We're okay. 
We can't sleep a single night without watching that Beyblade. I don't know if people are still into Beyblades. Man, that's like some 90s slash early 2000s shit right there. It's just <laughs> turning, taking something very fundamentally simple and then just making a cartoon around it to try and sell it. Never heard of it. I mean, it depends where it aired. I guess that's the thing. But the cartoon was around in the early 2000s, so it, it just depends if, if it existed where you grew up. I wouldn't say it's got anything to do with being old. Like, there's a cartoon that used to be on TV here that Americans don't know of. But I think it's it's something that Canadians and... Where else? Like, Europe? But the series was called The Animals of Farthing Wood in English. But I don't know what it translated to. But it was loosely a story where you followed this group of animals who had their forest home destroyed by humans. And it kind of played like a soap. And it was kind of messed up. <laughs> Because um, some of the main characters would die. You know, you get attached to these animal, these animals, and then yeah, just things would happen. Heard of it? Not sure you watched it. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those shows that it's for kids, but you can, I know I know people that have watched it, and they talk about like how it, <laughs> it was a little bit scarring. There's no- I feel like there's no way that that show would be shown to kids these days, I don't know. It's okay, I planned for that. I just- I wanted the chest. Oh, I'm already at 500 rupee. Did anyone watch Ren and Stimpy at a young age? I caught bits of it. Ren and Stimpy used to be on cable. So I did catch some episodes of it, but my parents did not like us watching stuff like Ren and Stimpy or Beavis and Butthead. They just said it was the poor idiots. Or at least glorified stupid behavior. I don't know. I don't believe that. But, you know, that's that's what they thought. But we would still watch it. We'd sneak it in. Beyblades! Beyblades! Okay. It has to be going... Shit. The animals of Farthingwood is British, apparently. Yeah, that's see, that's kind of why I mentioned it. <laughs> Rocco's modern life was a slightly more normal and simpy. It was. We watched a lot of Rocco. I like. All the Nicktoons from that era. Rocco's Modern Life, uh, The Wild Thornberries, Rugrats, Ariel Monsters, Angry Beavers, Hey Arnold. I feel like I'm missing one. I said Rocco. There's one that I'm missing there. But I feel like that was the golden era of Nickelodeon. SpongeBob kind of fits into that era as well, because it was like on the tail end of that. Hey. 
Wild bone berries. I did say wild bone berries. I mean, some people liked rocket power. I didn't like rocket power, but it's it's in that range. I just wasn't into like skating or surfing or I'm pretty sure I was just skating, but yeah, I just wasn't into that, so it didn't appeal to me. I've seen some of Spongebob, I haven't seen a lot of it. But it's one of those shows that I think I, I'd watch if someone wanted to binge it. And then Cartoon Network had a bunch of good shows as well at the time. Dexter's Lab, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, Powerpuff Girls, uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Courage the Cowardly Dog, Samurai Jack. Where is here? Okay, let me just check something real quick. Do we have any stray chests? No, we do not. Perfect. All right, we can move on. Which network did Fairly Odd Parents? Fairly Odd Parents was good. Um, I don't think. I think it was Nick Nickelodeon. I think pretty sure. I don't think they made it, but I think it was on them. Let me just double check. I might be wrong. Oh, I pressed trigger. Yeah, it was for Nickelodeon. The Nicktoon era. It's just all from there. Uh, okay, it's okay. I thought for a sec that they were going to do emergency maintenance on my internet, but that was this morning, so I would not have noticed. Okay, noted. Wait, what did I just do? I just went backwards. That's what I did. Beyblades! Beyblades! I don't know how you do this. I think I have to break off and then... Oh, nearly. Nailed it. Made it. 
<laughs> I probably should have smacked those pots. But you know what? We'll be fine. This boss is this boss is fun. This was a fight that I was wowed by just because of the scale of it. But th this fight is great. Been getting into South Park. South Park, I mean... I've, I see South Park as two different shows. There was... Pretty much early 2000s South, South Park, which was like lol random humor. And then modern day South Park, which is... it. They pretty much make commentary on... Um, just pop culture and I guess shit that's going on in the world. So that's there's two shows there, pretty much. They still make it. I haven't watched it in years either. I'm not sure if it still holds up. This is one of those things that airs on cable and uh, like I'm not gonna pay Australia's cable provider chat. They are just an evil company. This fight is so cool. Comcast isn't better. Well, I'm not going to get into it, but, you know, they basically lobbied to make sure that um, the plan to roll out fiber internet to 96% of Australia's homes did not go through, so they would not lose their monopoly on cable. And uh, people wouldn't have access to live streaming services, so they would still have to buy their cable. ran a scare campaign and unfortunately it was successful. Yeah, South Park is really that old. The movie for South Park was the year 2000. That thing is 23 years old. Beyblades! Oh, oh right, no, now. Now there's spikes along... I missed. <laughs> I am not a master in uh, the Beyblade combat. Ugh, damn it, nearly. Oh. Get back, get back. Oh, I, I honestly forget. Going back in right away. There we go. If you haven't seen this fight before... <laughs> There's a reason they have nostalgia for this one.
I think this is the boss fight that I remember the most in this game. Definitely the GameCube version of the fight because on the way it goes the other way around. Oh shit. Oh, that was bad. Damn it. Uh, so that's what we call a lucky hit chat. <laughs> That should not have happened. But, okay, it did. Let's roll with it. Probably had a little more time. This thing is such an ass. Damn it. Ah, oh, I almost had it. I managed to hit it on the ground. That makes no sense. That shouldn't have been possible. Okay, gotta climb. Oh, got too greedy. Now they're on both sides, oh boy. Nice. 
ています。Somehow we're magically at the top, but you know, we'll, we'll just say it's skipped. Alright, Lunk, let's go. We're close to the Mirror of Twilight. Yeah, I still, I still think this fight's great. Oh yeah, I have I haven't saved today, jeez. <laughs> okay, it's time for some story. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting to see this cutscene, and I'll say I'll explain why. Assuming it happens here, maybe I'm not remembering correctly. Oh, there's so many of them this time. Alright, we'll find. together. The only thing missing from the creepiness factor, now that I've played Majora's Mask, imagine if Link made the same sound that he makes in Majora's Mask when he applies a mask in this, when he transforms into a wolf. You can assume it's not painful to turn into a wolf, but in Majora's Mask, putting a mask on, it just sounds like his soul is being ripped from his body. Shattered. I think this is it, yeah. A dark entity lurks in the twilight. It houses an evil power. You who are guided by fate, you who possess the crest of the goddess, goddesses, hear us. At the command of the goddesses, we sages have guarded the mirror of twilight since ancient times. You seek it, but the mirror of twilight has been fragmented by mighty magic. That magic is a dark power that only he possesses. His name?
Ganondorf. So this cutscene in particular, what happens here... In Tears of the Kingdom, there's kind of hints that... The Ganon of that game is the Ganon of this game. And you'll see why. He was known as a demon thief, a wielder of evil magic, blah 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 blah. It's a working theory, so it, it's yet to be confirmed, but based on the trailers, people are speculating that these two games are connected. But he was blind. In all of his fury and might, he was blind to any danger, and thus he was exposed, blah blah blah, something like that. So where they've stabbed him, right there, that wound, that wound exists on the body of the, uh, the undead Ganon in Tears of the Kingdom, in that spot. There's, there's a scar there. So, yeah, the speculation is these two games are connected, and the character you're seeing here is the one that's going to be the villain in Tears of the Kingdom. By some divine prank, he too had been blessed with the chosen power of the gods. His abiding hatred and lust for power turned into the purest malice. Perhaps that evil power has been passed on to Zant. What the hell is the boy? You're just now figuring out where Zant got his power? It's far too late. The only true leader of the Swoily can utterly destroy the Mirror of Twilight, so Zant could merely break it into pieces. Once broken by magic, the Mirror of Twilight became fragments, which now which even now lie hidden across the land of Hyrule. One is in the snowy mountain heights. One is in an ancient grove. And one is in the heavens. You have been sent by the goddesses. You should be able to gather the three pieces. But you must be prepared for a dangerous power resides in those fragments. Well, time to save. <laughs> Good stopping point for this. So, we'll continue this tomorrow, but I'm not done yet for the evening. I do want to play a bit of Metroid, so give me like. Two to five minutes, I just want to stretch my legs, refill the water bottle, and I need to move the HDMI cable from the Wii U to the Switch. So it'll take a couple minutes, but get yourself a snack or something, and uh, we'll continue Metroid Prime Remastered, so... Shouldn't be long, but if you're here for Zelda, or are watching this later, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far.